Hello and welcome to Lewis Round's F1 update. It's Wednesday the 7th of December and this is the latest news in the world of F1. We'll start off with today's big headlines. Sky Sports have unveiled their coverage team for 2012. Martin Brundle was already confirmed for next year. Uh, his role has been specified a bit more, given more information about his role. Um, but he, many questions have been, question marks have been who's going to be his commentator uh, partner for next year. Maybe I've said David Croft, maybe James Allen, but it is David Croft who will be alongside Brundle for next year. Anthony Davidson, he'll be with Croft commentating on the practice sessions. So good chemistry already there with Davidson Croft from the five live commentary from the last three seasons. And of course Martin Brundle and Croft have both worked together for the BBC in the last uh, three, four uh, three seasons as well. So that's a good good commentary. They both know each other, all three of them. Uh, Ted Gravitz, he's also joined Sky from BBC and he'll be part of the pit lane uh, t reporters uh, along with Natalie Pinkham who's joined from Five Live as well after her year uh, in, as a pit lane reporter. Kravitz also will also be co-presenting the magazine show on Sky Sports which has been announced on the F1 HD package. The TED's co-presenter on the magazine show will be Georgie Thompson, a familiar face for Sky Sports News viewers. Um, she's done a lot of uh, Sky Sports in the past, special reports, uh, presented a few football shows as well. And last, but by no means least, Steve Ryder, the broadcasting veteran, will be having a show himself uh, interviewing legendary racing drivers from both past and the present on Sky Sports F1 HD. Right, another big uh, headline that's come in today is that there's going to be no changes to the F1 calendar. Uh, US, and this means US, US and the Bahrain Grand Prix will remain on the uh, 2012 calendar, so it'll be a 20 race season um, after the World Motorsports Council meeting that was conducted today. Uh, there have been doubts over the US Grand Prix because of uh, no money really going into Bernie because so Bernie hadn't received. Uh, any money or any promise of money until the first race of the year, which he wants. He wants a bit of you know money in case it flops. Um, and also, there's been civil unrest in Bahrain, which is why that Grand Prix was cancelled this year. And that's all given the go ahead as well. News so over the weekend is that Ferrari and Red Bull have both left FOTA, also known as the Formula One Teams Association which has caused more uh, problems, questions, more than problems over the future of the organisation. The two teams were frustrated that FOTA had failed to agree a RRA, which is the Resource Restriction Agreement. Uh, Ferrari said in a statement that FOTA's drive had run its course, while Red Bull said the team will remain committed to finding a solution regarding cost saving in Formula One. Uh, also, F1 driver's uh, birthdays today, it's just the one birthday. Robert Kubit says 27th birthday. Will he have a driver for next year? Kimi Raikkonen has joined his team Lotus Renault on a two-year contract. Vitaly Petrov is still uncertain whether he will be in the team. I think that deadline comes up very soon though, uh, whether he's staying or not. And if not, uh, Kubit says already know, people know he's not ready for the beginning of the year. It looks very likely that Roman Grosjean will be signing on to, to the team as a second driver. Uh, he's part of, of course, Eric Boudier's management team. I think he'd be preferred over uh, Petrov, uh, even though Petrov yeah, brings in money. So it's a bit of a, we don't know yet with on that, but is Kubitz going to be joining at the moment? I really don't know, but it looks increasingly unlikely since Raikkonen has been uh, signed on. Over the weekend as well, it was the race of champions in Frankfurt, Germany, and the Germans unsurprisingly won the Nations Cup with Vettel and Schumacher at the helm, easily winning uh, once again those two, uh, just unstoppable team. Uh, but Sebastian Auger did surprisingly win the individual event after beating Tom Christensen in the final. And finally, Oliver Rowland, he won the Autosport British Racing Drivers Award. Uh, beating the likes of Alex Lynn, who of course beat him to the Formula Renault Championship, British Championship this year. The award means he gets, uh, he wins £100,000 prize fund 
and wins a test drive with McLaren, which all folds in nicely into the fact, in the fact that he is uh, part of the Young Drivers Programme with McLaren. Well, that's it for today's show. I'll be back on next Wednesday. If you want to know more information on Formula 1, check out my website, www.lewisround.co.uk. Uh, the website will be in the description bar. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. I'd love to hear what you think of this first show. I don't expect it to be perfect straight away, but I'm trying to get it to the best. Um, the best it can possibly be. So please uh, comment and rate, rate and subscribe. Uh, I'll be back on next Wednesday. Please check my website out and Facebook and Twitter is being launched very shortly. But thank you very much. I'll see you Wednesday.